Hey, Tom Rabbit, I hope you got this for your recording. Hey, YouTube out there, Tom Rabbit likes to record these. Hey, Tom Rabbit. Yeah, again, if, if you uh, admit that there are signs of intelligence that had to be involved in creating biocomplexity, then you are basically admitting a creator. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I do admit a creator for the origin of life on Earth, but, you know, I think it's uh, aliens. And, you know, where I'll, where did the aliens come from? It, it could be an infinite regress. What, what, what aliens? What aliens? Um... Well, if I had a, if I had to give an answer to that, you know, I'm guessing I would posit aliens from a nearby star system, uh, you know, possibly Alpha. Where did you, where did you, where did you get that from? <laughs> Have you been watching too much television? No, no, it's um, you know, I accept where, the evidence for intelligent where, design from biology, right? Where did and, you get and, you know, the, the question idea, is. Look, can you focus on the question at hand? Is this, a, is this a disease that is spreading throughout Clubhouse? Where did you get the idea that there are other life forms on other planets? Where did you get that from? Oh, it's a, it's a statistical certainty. Um, no, 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 it is, no, it is not a statistical certainty. Yeah, there's like uh, trillions upon trillions of, you know, stars, planets, you know, okay. the universe. Um, okay. I want to ask you a question. If I gave you a trillion squared Earth-like planets over 13 billion years, 13.7, 13.4 billion years, do you think that that would be enough time and trials for random mutations to produce a small number of um, coding sequences that would code for uh, a minimalist set of proteins um, from a purely maybe. from a from a purely statistical point of view. Would that be enough time and trials? I mean, maybe, maybe not. Uh, no, 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 uh, sir. I don't think that maybe or maybe not. That, that's a dodge answer. I asked you a direct question. If I gave you a trillion square Earth-like planets, which is ten to the 24th power, okay? That's 10 followed by 24 zeros. That is an unimaginable, inconceivable number of trial planets, Earth-like planets, mind you, not just planets, Earth-like planets. Would that, would that number of trials be enough for random mutations to accumulate over 13.7 billion years in order for said mutations to produce coding sequences for a handful of functional rudimentary proteins. Um, probably seems that way. No, that no, that's that. Okay, you're speaking out of complete ignorance there. It it probably couldn't. What are the odds of one wow. rudimentary uh, coding sequence for one rudimentary protein that has a hundred amino acids in it? What's that? The probability of that occurring? Well, I mean, it seems to happen. Quite often, you know, we got to. No, no, okay. Pro, Listen, if you, if you lie, if, if you if you lie, Otangelo is going to move you back to the audience. See that answer? No, I mean, I mean, that's me. fine. I can provide Why citations for that. I mean, the, the last person got kicked yeah. down to the audience for over talking. Now, it's, I ask it's you, okay, I want you to tell Take a deep me, breath. Take okay. a deep breath. Okay, Otangelo, get rid of him. He's trolling. But let's be let's be adults and have a mature. Uh, okay, Otangelo, he's trolling. Yeah, no. Let me answer your. Let me answer you. First of all, all right. even if I grant Wait a you, are you going to correct him for his bad behavior? Da, yeah. da, I'm here for a good time, right? I'm not here for drama, conflict. Are you going? Are you going to correct him for his bad behavior or not, Otangelo? Uh, if he interrupts me while I am talking, I will. Okay, him. but he interrupted me, and you didn't. Otangelo, oh, do you want me to leave? If, if you want me to leave, I'll, I'll go, Otangelo. No, no problem, right? We, we can have a conversation some other time. But... No, you're being rude and obnoxious, and then you're you're being a, like a snarky teenager pretending that you're not being rude and disruptive. Darth, your majesty, I apologize if I offended you. Can we move on from the issue? The issue is not that you offended me. The issue is you aren't even recognizing your own uh, bad faith conduct. I, I am... Deeply sorry, Darth. Uh, you know, can we? Okay. Yeah. So let's get back to the question at hand. Do you know what the odds are 
of one rudimentary protein, the coding sequences within a genetic code to code for one protein that has 100 amino acids in its chain. Do you know what the odds are? You know, probably like 30, 30%, you know. Well, what, the, what is that? Like that doesn't mean one, that, one out of three that doesn't mean, <laughs> No, that doesn't mean, no. Okay, listen. It would be, and by the way, I'm not very good at math. But it would be at a minimum, but it is vastly <laughs> greater at 10 followed by 100 zeros. Okay? And it's vastly greater than that. Okay, 10 followed by 100 zeros. So if I gave you, when you said it's actually statistical certainty, you're just pulling that out of your rear end. Because if I gave you a trillion squared Earth-like planets, that would be 10 to the power of 24 zeros. If I doubled the number of zeros okay not dub double the number of trials but double the number of zeros to um 48 that would be 10 to the power and when the reason why i'm doubling the zeros is just to be extremely generous to allow for 13.7 billion years so if we doubled the number of zeros to 10 to the power of 48 zeros you would still be at the level of 10 to the power of a minimum of 50 zeros just for one protein, then you have to factor in all the other additional proteins that, that, that you would need for life to, uh, by, by pure mutation to arise. So from a purely statistical point of view, it's as close to zero uh, as ask anything a question? you get. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. All right. Um, okay, so how how is this uh, ratio between non-functional proteins and functional proteins like uh, calculated? Um, if we if, in in order for there to be functionality, it has to be arranged in uh, a certain sequence, or else it's not functional. I mean, but you seem to get like that. The vast majority. Listen, we know from biological research that the vast possible arrangements of amino acid arrangements will not yield functional proteins. Oh, that, that might be true, it, 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 Okay, right. So the fact of the matter is I just gave you a mathematical breakdown that I did not pull out of my ass, and you said it was a statistical <laughs> certainty. I, ju I just gave you I just gave you the math showing it's as close to zero yeah. as possible. Well, I mean, to be fair, it's like a, you know, baseless, uh, you know, probability calculation, but, um, so, but so okay. you're not saying any, you're not saying anything of substance, what you just said, it was, it was okay. not, the, okay. it was well, meaningless. Are, uh, tell, so tell, me how, a, tell me how you so derive this you, probability calculation. You said calculation. it's a statistical I mean, certainty. You're just making that yeah. up. Yeah. I mean, like, yeah, if you're talking about earth, like planets, for example, everywhere on earth where you find liquid water, we find life. I mean, you're, you're ignoring what I'm so, saying. To you. That's just not so gonna, nice. Yeah, this you is are a classic cool. maneuver. No, no, that's not that's not maneuver. nonsense. That that is Listen that that is true. Mr. That is the reason why they Mr. look for Mubai. planets that have liquid water Mr. in Mubai. the universe, what right? You're, what you're doing it, what you're doing is you're just bickering. You're ignoring what I'm saying to you, and then you're just going on as though what I said did not seriously mitigate against everything you just said. I just brought you a a statistical rebuttal to what you said, and you're not offering a counter rebuttal. Do you have a counter rebuttal to what I said? Well, I mean, I, I don't need a count counter rebuttal to like a baseless uh, so, so assertion then what about I said, probability. Then what, then what it, like you said, the probability a of a protein, a, a functional assertion. protein arising via mutations okay. see, is extremely see, low, right? This is what they're like. I mean, but, but how do you, how do you know? Do you see what's going on? How do you know that in the in the space of possible protein? You're not addressing. You're not addressing what I'm saying. You are ignoring. No, I am addressing what you're saying, right? It's that you know you're tempting out because you you know your assertion was baseless, right? No, if you say it's if you say it's baseless then you need to give me a breakdown rebuttal of why okay. it's baseless okay for well, example because... if i tell you if i tell you if i tell you that um if i grant you uh, a mean... trillion squared earth-like planets and that is 10 uh, to the 24th power okay <laughs> of trials is that yeah. baseless if i grant you 10 to the <laughs> power of 24 planets that that's that's 10 followed by 24 zeros. Is that oh, yeah. a baseless number? 
What, what do you mean a set of baseless number? You're, we're, ta- okay, we're talking about right, a hypothetical. Okay, okay, I mean, you're talking about a hypothetical. Guy, I'll entertain okay, the hypothetical, this, right? This guy is clearly <laughs> like, trolling. He's clearly trolling, and we need to get rid of him. But I mean, that's not a claim about the real world, right? That's a hypothetical you see situation how you're, you're, you're bringing into a conversation. And he's just I mean, sitting there moving his mouth and hot air is coming out. He's purposely okay. trolling. He's not responding to anything. Say, 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 Darth, when I said your assertion was baseless, right, you could have provided right, some I'm kind gonna, of justification gonna, for gonna, it, right? I'm going to block I mean, your account from now on. Okay, your account is blocked. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll block <laughs> you right back, Darth. No, no, I'll block no, you right no, back, okay? I, 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 okay. I don't care. No, what you're I'm you're a troll. Is, you're you're a dishonest interlocutor. I'm not. I'm not <laughs> okay. All right. Oh, Tangela, you gonna put up with this? Hey, you, you know. You know what? Welcome to my troll list, Darth. How about okay. that? Okay. Are you gonna put? Love up you, Mister. Bye. Oh, Tangela, no, no. are you gonna put no. up with this bad conduct? No, Darth. I want to ask him here a question. So no, let I, me. Before you do, before you before you do, did he respond in even within a modicum of good faith to what I was saying? No. Was there even a mod- modicum of a good faith response to anything I said, Otangelo? Well, I think he's, his claims are ridiculous. No, no, I, that, that's not an answer to my question. I said, did he respond with even a modicum, a minimum of good faith in any of his responses to me? Or was it just simply rhetorical flourishes that were non-substantive, moving his mouth, doing an acting job like he was responding cogently to what I said, but there was nothing cogent that was a response to what I said? Yeah, it seems so, but I want to make it sure. Okay, so, 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 so he was trolling then, wasn't he? Yeah. It seems so, but I, I want okay, to then, then why, then why, when it's clear to you and to me that he's just trolling, he's trolling why are you giving him another opportunity when he's already giving, giving well, us the double middle fingers? Listen, yeah. asking people to substantiate their claims is not trolling, right? I can okay. say, Darth, you're right. trolling me okay. because you asked me to substantiate my assertions, right? Okay. Do you a troll? Do me a favor. Are I you going to discipline this guy or not? Otherwise, I'll just leave. <laughs> I'm not going <laughs> to waste my time. You know, you um, want to tolerate this kind of bad behavior? Yeah, I well, want to. He's not Mister, a you've been a bad boy. Boy. He's trolling. He's doing stand-up comedy. <laughs> yeah, I want to double check. I want to ask you this. If you have water, how do you go from water to life? How do you go from water to life? Well, I mean, that's yeah, a good question. But yes, you claim that, that, there... that wasn't quite my point. Um, so what what was your point then? You know, it's like, you know, it's more, you know, this point that is made by biologists, especially people who are like involved in, um, you, you know, SETI, you know, search for alien life, that kind of stuff. You know, they point out that on Earth, right, where you find liquid water, you know, you find life. You know, it's like a, a good good place to find life, uh, at least Mr. on Earth. Mr. Mua, have you ever I heard mean, of Dr. Eugene Coonan? Uh, who's uh, Dr. Eugene Coonan? Okay, Dr. Eugene Coonan, uh, whose name Otangelo is familiar with, is an expert in, in biology and, and molecular biology and including the actual statistics, okay? In his book, The Logic of Chance, he, po- he points out although he's a staunch believer in evolution, that he states almost the opposite of what you're saying, that it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a statistical necessity that life will start, okay? This is why he expands to the idea that life is certain only given a multiverse, but that's not what you said. The reason why he advances to the idea of a multiverse that was statistically guaranteed that life would arise in one particular universe is because in one particular universe alone, it wouldn't be statistically guaranteed. So Dr. Eugene Coonan, who is a staunch advocate, uh, almost a mathematical genius, um, completely disagrees with you. Can you explain to me why you said it's a statistical certainty when it contradicts what he says? Well, you know, because... Now, there are so many planets and stars that even if like the odds for, for no, you're life contradicting were that what low, he says were, no. were low. I mean, you said it's a statistic. We have so many certain, trials. He says the he says the opposite. Yeah, that it's he's not a, a staunch advocate certain. of evolution. No, he's in his okay, book. So it's not a it's not a statistical certainty, and he's a staunch like, advocate like of evolution. Right? All right. So does he take the position that that it's 
statistically extremely unlikely or impossible it, it, that there's it, life it, anywhere it, else in the universe? It, or is that is that his view? Or? His his view is, and if you want to jump in at any time, well, Changelo, please do. His his point is, it's so statistically remote that the the only way to account for that is by an appeal to a multiverse. So you are contradicting him. So when you say that it's a statistical certainty, first of all, what you are saying is not true. It's not based upon an investigation of the facts. Um, number two, you're just making that up. I'll you put it this way. It up. I, I can ask you a series of questions, okay. which will show that you're making that up right now. Do you want to do that? Here. I'll, I'll put it this way. You know, when I said it's I like a statistical a certainty. Do you want to do that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, you I'll get to your that? question, but, but let, let me let me clarify no, one thing real, real answer, briefly. Do you want to answer a When I said it's a statistical that, certainty, what, what, yeah. I, what I was saying is that, you know, I think it's a statistical certainty that there's life at least somewhere else in the universe, right? I mean, does this... Uh, Eugene, oh, upon, where, where, where did you disagree where, with that assertion? Where or? did you where did you where did you get the idea that life on an, another planet somewhere is a statistical certainty? Where'd you get that from? Well, uh, it probably it was probably revealed to me when I was abducted by aliens when I was like Okay, so uh, so there you go, Atenjo. He's trolling the whole time. He's he's lying, okay, and you've kept him on board. He's completely trolling. Okay. No, it was a it was a deeply spiritual Yeah. Yeah, this is what we've got. We've got losers like this who just troll. By the way, if any if any time you want me to go back to the audience, Otangelo, just let me know. Did you catch that, Tom Rabbit? Hope you upload that to YouTube.